It's the 14th of June, 2013. And, uh, anyway, this is an addendum video to the one that I made, uh, earlier about, uh, children at, um, events and, anyway, some comments about that whole issue more generally, not sp specifically to one group, but, uh, I did mention some groups in my previous video, and I wanted to make an addendum, some addendum comments about, uh, about that, and so, one of the groups, uh, Atheists of Utah, the party in question, I received some feedback on that, and, uh, apparently, the official clarification is that the party in question is not officially, uh, not officially bar children from attendance, but I guess uh, for me personally, because of the feedback I received from other people on the issue, I think we will hold off on that meeting, because our son is too young for a babysitter, right? And it's true that... Uh, college-age people do need venues where they can get a bit tipsy and uh, hook up, so to speak, meet each other, meet and greet, and get a little drunk and uh, perhaps find someone new or meet someone old or... All that, other, all that other stuff that humans do. So, that's that. But, I've also decided to try to spearhead some additional uh, fam so-called family-friendly events. Uh, and announce them to various groups. And to my own friends and family as well. So, that's that. So tomorrow, for example, we're going to go to the uh, uh, Utah Museum of Fine Art on their free Saturday. So, that should be good. Anyway, what else is happening? Day. I'll just have to work half a day because my work is going to Lagoon. We're not going because last year when we went, the swimming pool there, the water park, little water park, the water was so cold that it was really quite unpleasant and so I'm trying to finagle with Lagoon to see if they will be willing to provide uh, some free passes. Now, we don't really care about the rides. The only real attraction to Lagoon for us, since we have a, such a young son, is just the uh, old buildings in Pioneer Park. And those buildings are not a very strong attraction for my wife, so she has told me, but there is this hike, a little uh, trail walking slash hiking trail that goes in back of Lagoon that is free, and so maybe we'll just go there, but I'm going into work to work uh, a half or a quarter day, and then I'll excuse myself and... Uh, pretend like I'm going to Lagoon when I'm really not, but there, but there are, uh, there's actually no reason to pretend because there are alternative activities today for people who are not going to Lagoon or who don't like Lagoon. I don't mind Lagoon, but when you have a really young kid, there's not much use going there because you can't go on the rides except Pioneer Park, but then my wife doesn't like Pioneer Park very much. 
So, that's okay. But if you want to check out the uh, this interesting uh, trail that goes in back of Lagoon, uh, the way you get there, the probably the best place to park is you go to the north part of Lagoon and follow the road that goes along the uh, the north end of Lagoon. And uh, if you are a smart person, you'll be able to discover this. Uh, kind of cul-de-sac that also goes on to uh, a gate that enters kind of the back part of Lagoon on the north end. <laughs> and there's the beginning of this trail there. It has a sign that says Lagoon Trail and you can hook up with the Farmington Creek Trail there. So it's really quite green and lush and heavily wooded quite pretty, and so we've uh, actually gone up there with our kid uh, to walk uh, quite a number of times now. Even though we live in Salt Lake, it's a bit of a drive to get up there, but it's not too bad, maybe 10 minutes from where we live, so it's not bad, especially when you consider what people have to do in places like Los Angeles. Traffic here is nothing compared to that. So, anyway, with regard to the previous video I made, I suppose that uh, there was some level of success with one of the groups that I mentioned. Uh, I still am a bit disappointed with the ex-Mormon group that I mentioned. Um, I realize that uh, they may have their own reasons for not wanting children at their conferences, and, you know, any private group can do whatever the hell they want, I suppose, and anyone can start a new private group if they feel so inclined, right? But, um, uh, on the other hand, uh, because I've, of my own past association with uh, some people in that whole deal, ex-Mormon community, uh, a little disappointed that they don't allow children, you know. It's interesting how you never really think of something until that happens to you. Uh, Republican politicians are famous for that. Uh, for example, uh, Orrin Hatch never really I don't think he was in favor of uh, stem cell research until he had some kid or uh, family member who would who ben would have benefited from that, you know, and then, oh, suddenly, hey, guess what? I'm in favor of stem cell research because, you know, Republicans, I think that there maybe is a genetic difference between Democrats and Republicans, and that Republicans, they're kind of less empathetic and more more social Darwinistic, and maybe that proclivity in their brains is a natural thing, but, um, you know, for them, so maybe some people are just naturally less empathetic with others, you know, and uh, guess we just have to deal with it, deal with that. And those of us who are more naturally empathetic, uh, we have to, you know, fight also for advocate our position and help educate the people who just have less of a capacity to be empathetic that uh, there are some needs for a uh, social safety net. But there's a balance, you know. There's a balance between having everybody on the dole and... Uh, and then just uh, sending people to the wolves, you know. So. so that's that. Okay, well, anyway, this is the end of the addendum video. Uh, my thanks to the leadership of Atheists of Utah for replying and making it clear that their party is open to children 
we will probably nevertheless still abstain because of the feedback we received from other people. Uh, so have fun at your party, and uh, we shall try to organize some other things, and we'll consider our options with regard to the wider issues at hand. All right, so have fun. Bye-bye.